I turn around? Wow. <laughs> wow. It looks so beautiful, yeah. On behalf of Blake and Erica and their families, I'd like to welcome all of you uh, to this beautiful day and this great time of celebration as we commence their wedding together. Blake, you're a young man of intelligence, integrity, and a hard work ethic, and that's going to carry you far, but just as important, you're funny. Don't ever lose the funny. Um, you have been a part of our family for quite some time now. Today just makes it official. Renee and I are very proud to have you in our family. When God brings two special people like Blake and Erica together, and that's one thing that I have found out in the time that I've got to spend with them. These are two amazing young people. When he brings them together to share life with each other in marriage, he opens up for them the opportunity to have an adventure of a lifetime. And I want you guys both to know, no matter what you've heard from anyone else, marriage is amazing. It's incredible and it will be the greatest journey that you will ever take in your life. I know you love each other, uh, but sometimes love takes work. Talk to each other, listen to each other, be honest with each other, um, be patient, and work to bring joy to one another's lives. That, that while Blake uh, came to us and asked uh, permission to get married, you kind of just said, yeah, this is what's going to happen. Take it or leave it. <clears throat> uh, I think I'm supposed to say something profound, uh, but Erica, I'm sorry. I used it all up on your sister's wedding. I, <laughs> I, I, I got nothing. What I'll, what I'll say is this. I know you love each other, uh, but sometimes love takes work. Talk to each other, listen to each other, be honest with each other, um, be patient, and work to bring joy to one another's lives. It's always a great sign when the groom is eager to accept his future wife, two ceremonial issues before that time. So just, just relax, we're gonna get there. Let your love for each other be genuine. Cling to the good that you find in each other. Always put the needs of your spouse above your own desires and you'll find your life will be extremely fulfilling. Be of the same mind, plan big. Don't cheat yourself out of anything that life has to offer you. Share your lives with other people. 
because when you're as nice and wonderful and genuine as you two, you have the opportunity to not just touch each other, but to change the lives of the people around you. So give to others and you will never be disappointed. I, Blake, take you, Erica. I, Blake, take you, Erica. To be my wife. To be my wife. And I promise. And I promise. Before God and these witnesses. Before God and these witnesses. To be your loving and faithful husband. To be your loving and faithful husband. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. <laughs> I, Erica, take you, Blake. I, Erica, take you, Blake. To be my husband. To be my husband. And I promise before God and these witnesses. I promise before God and these witnesses. To be your loving and faithful wife. To be your loving and faithful wife. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. By the power that's vested in me by the big guy, God himself, and the state of Ohio, it's my pleasure to announce you, man and wife, and what God has joined together, let no man separate. You may kiss your bride. So would you turn and face everybody? For the first time, it is my great pleasure and honor to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Blake Carpenter. First for Erica, pieces of advice for marrying a carpenter. Number one, the carpenters are always will get their way. Always. Number two, you always have to remind Blake of events, whether that's birthdays, holidays, or friends gatherings. If it's friends gatherings, you always have to make all the food for his friends. My wife's learning that one. And the third one, we're always, always right. No matter what you think, carpenters are always right. And then for Blake, some pieces of advice for marriage. One, she's always right. Just let her think that at least. Two, don't question her about her shopping habits when packages start showing up to the house. I've done that and it doesn't turn out well. Uh, and then three, when she says I'm running to Target, that means you'll see her in a few hours. In all seriousness, I just wish both you guys the best on your new, next journey in life and love you guys both very, very much. A toast? I was the only one to do a toast. A toast to the Mr. and Mrs. Carpenter. <laughs>